Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steers. And as you can see, I'm inside of my illustrious starship and inside of Starfield. And we've got Dazza with us. Yes, there he is, just standing there attentively. He might go and say something in a moment, but if he does, we just have to take it in in our stride. Anyway, why am I here today, chums? I'm here today, chums, to talk to you guys in the view of us about Starfield, I guess. So, I haven't done a lot in Starfield. Admittedly, I haven't really pushed on with the story all that much. I haven't done many side quests, but what I have done is surveyed a fair few planets. I've encountered flora and fauna and rocks. Yes, rocks, so have they. And the odd random encounter on planet surfaces. I've even stolen a pirate spaceship. I've done quite a lot when it comes to planet side stuffage. Now, what have I found while doing planet side stuffage? Well, I've had a couple of crashes which are a little odd on planet Nera. Whenever there was a random encounter that I was heading to, it crashed twice on me, people. I lost a fair bit of progress once. Not great, has to be said. I would say, though, that the Xbox overall, it's not too shabby, people. It's pretty darn freaking spectacular, I must say. No frame loss for me. I've had a couple of times inside of the cities where it might freeze for a couple of seconds, well, not a couple of seconds, a fraction of a second, but it's noticeable. It's noticeable, people in the Bioverse, it really is. And also, I've come across the Crete Stalker on planet Crete, but then I've also found that very same creature on planet Nera. So I'm wondering whether there might be a few repeats of fauna inside of the world of I like Starfield. To myself as your emotional support human. Oh, my You're emotion. looking as glorious as ever, Captain. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, well, my emotional support human. Doing good work, good job of supporting my humanness. Now, I must say, the actual um, crew and you know cohorts that you have inside of this game are pretty darn awesome as well. I quite like them. I quite like the resource gathering too and how you do that. What I'm not so keen on is the menu system and hopping through inventories. That's a little bit tedious and I seem to be spending a heck of a lot of time inside of inventories. Something that I really do like though is camera mode. So as you can see there's, there's things that I've got slight qualms about and then things that I'm super positive about but even the things that I'm, I find as a little bit of a negative or a niggle or whatever they add to the actual game in a roundabout way. I mean, yes, the repeating of Fauna is a little bit of a disappointment, but I suppose it's going to be expected since a hundred planets out of the thousand planets have life. And hopefully it's just the smaller Fauna, the little sort of ones that are dotted around to sort of make it feel a little bit more alive. I'm hoping the bigger Fauna don't get repeats, but yes, I will be sort of keeping a tally for my final review, which this is not. This is not a final review by any stretch of the imagination, people. It really isn't. No, this is just sort of my impressions when it comes to the Zen type experience that Todd Howard suggested was inside of game. And I have to say it hasn't disappointed. Now, the things that I would say that have kind of scrapped in at times, this was touted as being a next-gen game, and it's on a next-gen console. It runs on high-end PCs, but what I'm not seeing is the ability to turn on ray tracing. We have some very clever shaders that make it look pretty darn fantabulous, but I wouldn't say this is... I wouldn't say it's next-gen. I mean, if you put this like next to the likes of Red Dead or something like that graphically, when it comes to character animations, facial expressions, that sort of stuff, and also lighting, it's kind of on par, and that's a last-gen game the last time I checked, people. So there are little niggles. There are things that could have been done better, but for the size and scope of game and the amount of fun I'm having, and also the zen-like experience, which is quite key, I honestly am really enjoying my time inside of Starfield, people. I just want to put this out there now. Like I say, not a review, just my take on what I've done so far. And I've only just scratched the tip of the iceberg with this one, people. So yeah, I will be doing a full review at some point. But until then, people, hopefully this has given you enough to make you think, hold on, this is sounding very much like No Man's Sky. You can play it that way. You can do exploration. You can just go around in camera mode. I don't see any ability from the console to actually just share my images straight up onto Twitterverse. It's not as easy as that. There's probably ways and means to do it, but I just don't know how. 
I don't even know where I can put a USB inside of this freaking thing yet. I don't know much about the Xbox. I have never purchased an Xbox in my life, people. I have been a Sony pony for a good and many year, but now I'm just figuring, well, you know, <laughs> what's his face? Bill Gates is going off to save the world. And uh, he hasn't got anything to do with Microsoft anymore, so I didn't like Bill Gates when he was at Microsoft. I was an Amiga man myself. But anyway, that's a side note. That's a side note, and it's a sidestep. But anyway, I just didn't really like Microsoft, but he's gone. And now we've got to quite a damn decent console. I'm doing another video on that, though, people, of me selling and trading in my PlayStation VR 2 to get this Xbox. I should have it out by the weekend. But anyway, people, I just wanted to just let you know this game... It seriously grabbed me. It really has. It's a second game to my channel, but why there's a quiet spell on No Man's Sky, you're going to see it taking pole position for a little while. I am still going to be covering the news in No Man's Sky in this sort of format. I'll jump back into No Man's Sky. If there's any tantalising tweets or any sort of news coming in, we'll showcase off those jetpack trails that are unlocking rather rapidly right now, people. But I honestly think we're not going to see anything with inside of No Man's Sky for a little while. I think we're going to be waiting until at least mid to late August, uh, October, around Halloween time. And I'm hoping to see something a little bit, you know, Halloween-esque come into the verse. Eh, something to do with the Void, perhaps, the Void Mother, the other parts of the ARG that got sort of hinted at. Hoping to see some of that come our way, people inside of the universe. Who cares? But anyway, I will be covering off all those little sort of shenanigans. And I'm going to be running the weekend mission live. I don't know what I'm going to be doing on Tuesdays anymore. I don't know whether I'm going to continue doing the portal hops. I have got a multi-tool that I need to upgrade to S-Class and get some decent modules in it. But yeah, that's that's pretty much everything I've got for you. I'm really enjoying Starfield right now, and I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you are enjoying the videos and you're on some sort of social media networks, please share my videos out there. Put a couple up on social media, Reddit or Facebook groups that you're on that are to do with Starfield. I'm not in many of those groups, to be honest. And when you do that and you're a content creator, it's like self-promotion. They sometimes get torn down. So, yeah, if you wouldn't mind putting me out there, that'd be very much appreciated. People in the view of us, salute to Mondo and hit the bell. Hit the bell, the subscribe button, the like button. Let me know you're liking this content. And I'll see you again in the universe for scanning of more planets. I do want to move on with side quests at some point as well, and the story, but I don't want to put out too many spoilers too early on. I want people to enjoy this. So at the moment, I'm quite content scanning the Neuron system. Hopefully after Neuron, I'm going to be moving on to the next system, which is the one where New Atlantis is. I can't remember the actual name of the system. But anyway, people, it's Lucimondo. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.